Okay, Dad brought me back over. Nathan moved the rest of these alfalfa bales off the other day. So, uh, I got the rake. Taking it to another field. I'm going to take it to that corn field. Uh, bale up this kind of corn. I'm going to bale the grass first. Kubota tractor. Kubota rake. Kubota coffee cup. I'm pulling a Nathan today. We'll see where I leave my coffee cup. Meet the Peterson family. Our dad, the three Peterson brothers, and our families farm together in central Kansas. Our family farm started in 1882 and has been raising cattle and crops ever since. Please subscribe to this channel and give us a like and a comment if you enjoy the video. All right, uh, just unloaded uh, this semi-load of round bales here out by the pond, or what used to be a pond. It's not a whole lot of water in it. Uh, these bales will be stored here until the winter when it's time to feed them. Okay, this side, it's an okay windrow. This grass needs to be bailed up pretty quickly, but it laid on the ground too long. The corn, it's probably a little early to bail it up, but I'm getting it fluffed up and raked so this wind can get, um, get it dried the rest of the way out. Those heavy corn windrows are on the other side of the road. This is kind of that mixed stuff that I swapped. All right, Dad's coming right at me with his load of manure. I'm ready to get another load. So here's the piles. There is some hay waste mixed in here. This is a guy who raises Angus cows crossed with Wagyu. And uh, so this is many, many years worth of his cow manure. Okay, got my truck piled. Loader's ready for my dad. So I back up, I flip my PTO on. Then I flip my gate, which is the G, faded off. Then I do my end gate, which is the up and down. And the way you remember is you you push the button towards you when you're backing up. And that means you're backing up. You push it back. You don't want to get them flipped. Dad's in some slimy stuff right now. He's tried to back his way out up this hill a couple times, but he keeps hitting slimy stuff. Okay, he's going to make it this time. Had to really get a head start. Here, can you wave? Wave at the tractor. Oh! <laughs> we'll get the next one. Oh, here it comes! There's one. Look at that pile. Working farmer style. By the horse, see there? Farmer style. Work. Work, 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 work in farmer style. Farmer style. One, two, three, four, track load. One, two, three, four, track load. Good job, everybody. Pretty much finishing up here. Got it down the mound levels to about where he wants it. Looks like there's quite a bit left, but the bottom part of the mound is dirt. So, chopping silage is right around the corner. So we've got the 5830 taken apart, replacing some pieces in there. So the joys of an old cutter that we don't show real often. <laughs> right at the end of chopping those oats, we noticed this uh, brace was had cracked. We were able to get done. This needs replaced and that bearing is gone. Um, we're gonna get new bearings and then this plate. There's a scraper piece in there that needs replaced. You can see the knives in there. We're gonna get it ready to chop some corn and forage sorghum. So we'll put that back in the shed and maybe not need it for another five, 10 years. <laughs> and uh, get the Kemper out and get it on here. She's always hungry. One, two, three, four, track, one, two, three, four, tractor! One, two, three, four, tractor! Evan and I just had a chat. Um, we're gonna be the ones trying to catch the cows today. I've been trying to catch these cows. I set up the catch pin on Monday and um, I'm just ready to get them home, get them, meet, get them eating some silage and some weeds in the yard. And um, still a month before they calve, but I wanna get them home. Cause that grass is almost gone. The water's low in the ponds, ready for a, a change. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous to do it with two people 
This will give the, the air equip a chance to uh, show itself. Evan, he does good around cattle, but he's not as experienced around cattle as like my dad or someone else that I would usually catch cattle with, but we'll see how this goes. Pot came up from dad's house. It's already made a trip to the sale barn today with my uncle's cow, cow uh, steers. And uh, there's the cows. You can see some Charlay heifers out with them. Them calves are, uh, they were spring cows that calved late, so I moved them with the fall cows. Uh, but none of the fall cows have calved yet, at least unless there's one that popped or something when I get out there, but I don't think so. August calves, I can consider fall calving, you know, end of August. July calf, I feel like that's summer calving. I can't do that in Kansas. Okay, they're on the other side of a wire. I'm gonna lead them around this corner here. The only way this works is if they really wanna follow me, which they're used to doing with paddock grazing. Okay, here they come. I'm trying to bring them into here. Got Evan on standby back there, ready to pressure him if he needs to. Okay, well we got that many, and then I closed that and ran them through to the other side. So having two openings kind of gives you two chances. But all the wildest ones are still out there. Okay, we got all but one. That one decided to hop the electric fence. She's too smart for her own good. So we got the three of the neighbors, and we got the two calves. So I thought those would be the hardest ones to get. I'm gonna run them across now. There's a little unique setup with the hot wire as my boundary, but we got the cows in the air equip healer. We've got the cows caught, we got the loadout chute backed up to there, now I got the pot. Get it off the road. Let's get this job done. Try to load the cows without a bud box this time, just using this alley. So usually cows like to get on the trailer. Shh, come on. Okay, we got eight in there. Can be nine. Oh, it won't do it for the camera. Shh. So we just use that as the extension of this alley. Because it's a long alley, we've been just using this little square as the catch pen and not having to set up or use any of that. Because cows like loading. Now prove me right, cows, not wrong. Evan just thinks I'm over here talking to myself, thinks I'm weird. Okay, and the calves. Come on. You got poop all over, bud. Come on. I'm gonna get some fly control sprayed on them when they're coming off the truck. Okay, made it home, backed up to the chute. Two calves are gonna come off first. I'm gonna let them to water. I'm gonna go in and eat lunch. Getting these all the way put back in their pen now. Okay, I gotta move these ones out of this pen. I'm gonna kick them into this bigger pen. And uh, I got 58 more head just stepping off the truck right now. The uh, cattle were here in the daytime this time, it's kind of nice. Crazy. That AC feels nice in here. Um, gonna unhook this rake. Um, then I had to use this tractor for some stuff in the yard. Then the plan is to hook back onto the swather to um, swath that early, early millet that we put in, in in late May. We're gonna probably do it before it heads out very much. The cattle we have eating weeds. My dad's got some corn today. sorting morning. Uh, we got steers to sort up. Uh, Dad's getting this gate up here done. I got the alleys down there open. Now I gotta get the cattle out of the pen. Okay, it was a pretty natural sort. We got 60 bigs. They're a little heavier than we usually sell, so we're not gonna try to pack 62 on a truck. These real nice tall silos. They don't serve much of a purpose anymore, but they're Nice wall here. And what's funny is the cattle stand in the shade from that thing when they're in this pen and even in that pen across the way. 
fairly often. So we put the smalls back in pin nine first. Now I'm opening the pin six, which was wide open. So we're gonna put the steers to sell in there. It's one of our easiest pins. Just the cattle naturally flow out of there. So it's nice to put the group to sell in there because they're only in there for two days and then you move them again and you can put something else in there. Okay, Nathan and I came over to scout the millet, see if it's ready to swath. Does not have any heads out, but we're kind of planning on using this as starter hay because our brome and native grass was so poor this year. So there's a few heads you can see, head and head. So I guess the plan is for me to come over here, get the swather on this so it can dry during the, these 104 degree days. We got like seven of them in a row coming. Real leafy, real pretty fine stemmed. There's third cutting of alfalfa growing. Basically, There's the, the bales Nathan moved off in the rainstorm. Yeah, the only rain it got was all the rain that I ran through. Yeah, <laughs> when you were running 100 miles an hour. I was. I now know what it feels like to run 100 miles. <laughs> well, we went to look at that millet, hoping to get back before this implement was delivered to our yard, and we made it back. Are you excited, Nathan, for what this is? Yeah. It's a mystery. You guys will find out in a minute here. Here's a hint. It goes with the 9610. Check it out. Abilene machine. Thanks for watching, everyone. Check out our music videos linked in the description. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, and explore our website, www.petersonfarmbrothers.com. See you guys next time.